Gear pumps are one of the most common types of positive displacement pump. They operate by an unchanging volume of fluid passing between the teeth of two meshing gears and their casing at a constant rate. Based upon the design, the gear pumps are classified as external gear pumps, internal gear pumps, gerotter pumps, lobe pumps. External gear pumps have two mating gear in a closed fitted housing. One of the gear is connected to a drive shaft connected to the prime mover. The second one, the follower gear is driven as it meshes with the driver gear. The external gear pump consists of the housing and two gears. One gear is rotated by the driver, this gear is called power or driver gear. The other gear moves because its teeth mesh with the teeth of driver gear. This gear is called driven or idler gear. There are three stages in an external gear pump's working cycle, filling, transfer and delivery. As the gears come out of mesh on the inlet side of the pump, they create an expanded volume. Liquid flows into the cavities and is trapped by the gear teeth as the gears continue to rotate against the pump casing. The trapped liquid is moved from the inlet, to the discharge, around the casing. As the teeth of the gears become interlocked on the discharge side of the pump, the volume is reduced and the fluid is forced out under pressure. In an external gear pump each space between the gear teeth and the housing positively displaces a given amount of fluid. So on each revolution of gears make, specific amount of fluid is delivered in the system piping. The internal gear pump consists of an inner and outer gear separated by a crescent-shaped seal. The inner gear has one or two teeth less than the outer gear. The two gears rotate in the same direction, with the inner gear rotating faster than the outer. There are three stages in an internal gear pump's working cycle, filling, transfer and delivery. The hydraulic oil is drawn into the suction port between the inner and outer gear's teeth. The hydraulic oil travels through the pump between the teeth, and the crescent shape divides the liquid and acts as a seal between the suction and discharge ports. Inner and outer gear's teeth mesh completely to form a seal equidistant. This seal forces the liquid out of the discharge port. A gerotter is a positive displacement pump. The name gerotter is derived from generated rotor. A gerotter unit consists of an inner and outer rotor. The gerotter pumps are internal gear pumps without the crescent. The gerotter pump consists of a pair of gears which are always in sliding contact. The internal gear has one more tooth than the gerotter gear. Oil is drawn into the chamber where the teeth are separating, and is ejected when the teeth start to mesh again. The seal is provided by the sliding contact. The lobe pump is a rotary, external gear pump. 
It differs from the conventional external gear pump in the way the gears are driven. In a gear pump, one gear drive the other. In a lobe pump, both lobes are driven through suitable drives gears outside of the pump casing chamber. Lobe pumps work on the similar principle of working as that of external gear pumps. However in lobe pumps, the lobes do not make any contact like external gear. Lobe contact is prevented by the external timing gears. Similar to the external gear pump, the lobes rotate to create expanding volume at the inlet. Now, the fluid flows into the cavity and is trapped by the lobes. Fluid travels around the interior of casing in the pockets between the lobes and the casing. Finally, the meshing of the lobes forces liquid to pass through the outlet port.